Good day. Welcome to all the ESCO members of the Electronic Payment Improvement Presentation. My name is Dougal Bailey and I will be taking you through the proposed changes needed to improve electronic payment operations. So, some background on the Electronic Payment Operations team. Electronic Payments falls under the leadership of Vikas Valente as Head of Payment Systems and Pusi Debe as Head of Electronic Payments. So, electronic payments are made up of various payment streams, namely EFT, which is Electronic Funds Transfers. Then we have RTCs, which is Real-Time Credits. We also have, and those are done within 60 seconds, where EFTs are done between 24 to 48 hours. We have PayShop transactions, which are credit pushes, which are done within 10 seconds. And we also have collections or debits, which are done via debit check. This team also represents Capitec Bank at the Payments Association of South Africa on the various payment clearing houses for each payment stream. They ensure that Capitec Bank is compliant with the various industry clearing rules of all the payment streams. If we are not compliant with the industry clearing rules, um, we will then be, we can be penalized with a penalty and we also run the risk of a reputational loss. This team also deals with all interbank related queries, which is between Capitec Bank and an external bank. And this team also looks at all the external reversal requests. So the problem statement, due to the increase in the customer base, currently at 20 million customers, the team is not able to handle the volume of reversal requests logged. These unresolved, requ unresolved requests leads to bad customer experience. Our staff to investigate how we can improve the team's output by 20% without increasing the headcount. So what we want to do is we want to try and maintain the team as they currently a team of six members with a manager and a payment specialist. So we don't want to increase the headcount for them, but we want to increase the outputs by at least 20%. So the current process architecture of Capitec Bank, we have a management process, which looks at the strategic uh, deliverables. We have a core process, which looks at the client needs. This is what the products have to offer, like what is an EFT, what is offered to a client. Then we look at the support processes. So once we have an EFT, what can a customer do to support that product. So in this instance, how we will be looking at it from that perspective of the support process. How do we link that support process to improve the efficiency of the team by 20%? The discovery process. So if we look at the current process for this, so what a customer will do, a customer will come in uh, to a branch, he will then uh, advise the branch that he wants to do a reversal request. So he made an EFT payment or he made a payment to an external bank, he wants that money back. He doesn't want to pay that party any longer and he wants, feels that that money must come back to him. So he can either visit the branch, as you can see over there, client can go into the branch and you provide them with the details or the client can contact the contact center. Both of these once the client contacts the branch or the contact center, the detail gets loaded on s -Track, and then that query is then logged to the electronic payment operations team. Once that team receives the s -Track query, so firstly the team has to go into s -Track, open up s -Track, validate the query, then they have to check is this payment an EFT transaction? If no, the team has to reject that S track query and then provide feedback back to the customer. If it is a EFT transaction, the team opens up S track. The team then also has to open up the recall system um, and then capture all the details from the S track query onto the recall system. Once the details are captured on the recall system, the team then has to capture all the details that they just captured on the recall system onto the central query logging system, which is an online system hosted by BankServe for the query to be logged to the external bank. 
we then know there's a seven day SLA on that, which then the external bank will provide us feedback once they contacted their customer, which the team will then provide back to the customer, our customer and our vendor. So in terms of re resource utilization, so what we saw is, so what happens is that in this team, there are six individuals that work on the various tasks. So one individual works per task. So on reversal request, this individual will work for an entire week, 100% of his time will be on this task. Um, secondly, the average time taken for per transaction, which is about five minutes per transaction, and the average number of transactions is done per hour is about 12, and the number of reworks is about six per day. This is based on the, because currently we do, the team does about 2,000 transactions per month, and that's how we got to those figures over here. Uh, in terms of the value added analysis, um, the improved efficiency will be able to ensure that the team are able to add additional tasks to them. Um, the, the department will also be able to increase productivity without increasing the headcount, and customers will benefit from a quicker response time and improved customer experience. In terms of the process redesign, so we looked at the transformational method in which we eliminate the tasks which are not needed. So what we'll do is we will need some integration and automation to ensure that the various systems are up to date to be able to handle these changes and the redesign will ensure the team is more efficient and they're able to increase their outputs. The customer will have a better experience as they will get feedback much quicker. Then business process improvement proposal. So if you can see over here, we have the same process as the initial one. Then if we look at what we've changed currently. So what we're going to change is once we receive the ESTAT query, the team will then be able to still upfront reject the transactions if it's not a valid payment. But if it is a valid payment, what we would like is to have the team just capture it on the, on the recall system, which will be an auto upload to the central query logging system. And then it will be on. So we remove that duplication of effort over there and we have a single point of capture for the team to capture the data once. So the changes are then one, removing the, du the duplication. This reduces the time taken for controllers to capture reversals. Um, integration into the central query logging system. It's an external system hosted by Bankser via API will improve the efficiency. And how this is going to improve it? So if we look at the utilization, so we'll improve the utilization. So it will decrease to 60%, so it will be 40% saving in resource utilization. We'll decrease the time taken from 5 minutes to 3 minutes. We'll, the average number of transactions done per hour will increase to about 20. So that will be a 60% improvement. And the number of reworks will decrease down to 3. So based on those changes, we are hoping that we will be able to, we will be able to increase the team's output by 20%. Thank you.